Shana Shana, everybody. How's everyone been? It's been a while since I uploaded anything and there is a very specific reason for that. I don't want to get into it, but I've had a very weird week going by and I just, I, I, I just wasn't in the right frame of mind to record anything because, well, basically I was down in dumps and I'm uh, uh, not going to get into that, but I'm back and I'm here and it's time for another vlog. So quite a few things have happened in the past week and the, the most important thing that I want to mention is the GPL violation that has been going around um, and referring to Creality. Something extremely, extremely important has happened and the fact that we as a community stood up together, advocated for GPL, we advocated for Marlin, we advocated for ourselves. It actually resonated quite a bit and Naomi um, Wu, which goes by Real Sexy Cyborg, actually managed to speak to Creality. They, she managed to get them to release the source code of the S4 and that is that's something extremely big for this community because no matter how small we are, we actually managed to bring well, a giant to listen to us because Creality is in fact a giant. Now the, the GPL video, not just mine, but everyone else, uh, it, it was construed as something like we're hating on Creality and it wasn't. I simply said, or many of us said that we're simply not going to promote Creality and that was the whole purpose of it. It doesn't mean I wasn't going to be using the Creality. It's a very good printer. It's a very, it's a very good printer for the price. So if you bought one, yes, definitely use it. It was just unfair that the source code wasn't being shared, but now it's shared and that's a big win for us. As for the rest of the companies, there are other companies that don't abide by GPL. So that still stands. I will not feature anything on this channel um, anymore that does not abide by GPL. So if there is a printer that comes out that does not really the source code to the clients, I simply won't review or um, showcase that printer. And the way I'm gonna do this is when a company asks me to review a 3D printer, the first thing I'm gonna ask is, send me the source code and I'll review the printer. This recently happened with TiVo. Um, I had the Michelangelo. I really love the Michelangelo. It's, a, it's an amazing PLA TPU only machine. And I was getting ready for the, uh, for the review, but then this GPL thing came up and I got in touch with them and I told them, I told them, listen, unless you release the, uh, the source code for the Michelangelo, I will not review the machine. And it took them about, I think three, four hours and I received the source code and the hex file and I can share it. So that's brilliant. And now it's time for me to set up. I have all the prints here ready for the review. As you saw, this is the Cheshire Cat. This was printed on the Michelangelo. It turned out incredibly awesome. I'm really happy with this. I had some issues and that mainly revolved around prints lifting on the edge, but I'll, I'll speak about that in review. As for everything else, what have I been doing? Well, mainly I've been printing lots of these. These are, these are keychains. They're different colored keychains. They are awesome. They're with my logo and they have key rings on them. And I'm going to be taking these with me to the Swedish 3D printing meetup, which is happening this weekend. So if you want one of these, make sure you come to Helsingborg, come say hi, and you'll get one of these. I'll also be sending some of those to my Patreons because, well, they deserve it. Also, remember this awesome looking metallic PEGI that I used for this. Um, it's from Hertz. It was sent to me by 3D Print Tech in Austria. And I was so in love with this, I asked them to send me a spool of the blue metallic um, uh, PETG because it looked incredibly awesome. So they did, and I printed another one. And this thing turned out, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I'll be doing a full feature episode on this material because I didn't only print this. I printed some parts and we can recognize these parts. These belong to the Mark III because one of the Mark III's will be fully printed. And this, and this, I have all the parts here, see? So I just have to put it together, but that's gonna have to wait until I am back. Well, hello. Until I am back from Sweden um, because now I just don't have time. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'll probably record the review of the Michelangelo and then I will edit everything and sort of set it on a schedule because I'll upload it throughout the week. As for the Michelangelo, I will be doing a giveaway. Um, not exactly just a subscription-based giveaway. I, I don't want that kind of, of, of giveaway. I want to do it as a contest. I want to give 
certain people the ability to, you know, um, win a contest based on skill. So I'll be doing a giveaway of a TiVo Michelangelo, sponsored very generously by TiVo. Uh, that will have to do with a new logo for the channel, but I'll, um, I'll give more details when I'll do the review. And yeah, that will be absolutely awesome. As for this, this machine right here, I'm gonna be signing this and I'm gonna be sending it off to one of my Patreons. Um, and when I say that, uh, any of my Patreons up till now, right now, will be eligible to win this because I don't want any of you to become a Patreon just to win something like this. Um, if you become my Patreon, I, I want you to do it because, well, you believe in my capabilities of creating content or being a maker. But yes, this machine, as much as I actually, I really do love it as a PLA machine, machine machine that sounded very weird but my patrons have been absolutely amazing and i only recently realized that the little that patrons give away goes a very long way so this is a little something for them so i'll be doing a random giveaway um to them um yeah as a big thank you as for the rest i've been printing a lot on the pale poly moai that thing is insane the sla printer i i mentioned that i was doing prototypes for some board game characters well the board game is going to be called post-apocalyptic because i spoke to the owners or the creators and they told me it's okay to share it so i'm happy to share anything that's a maltese company i'm always willing to share and promote so they created this game which will be better tested quite a few times me and some friends of mine and then they sort of told me listen we need a few prototypes to send to beta testers abroad for them to try out are you willing to print some figures for us? And I, yes, absolutely. This is one of the figures. Um, she is a cage fighter. It has a, um, like one coat of primer. It's a special primer for figurines. It's much less grainy as a paint. It turned out incredibly great. I am very happy with the result. These were sort of samples. I have quite a few here. Like this is, this is a scavenger. And I kind of left this as is with support. So you guys can see what it turns out like when you print with supports on an SLA. Um, I'll be using this for the review as is. But yeah, that turned out incredibly awesome. And I have a few more here. Um, these are all kind of test prints. I was checking out the orientation, how I want them to be printed because it's it's not that easy to print on an SLA printer. It's a, definitely a learning curve. Supports play a very big part. Model orientation plays a very big part, but I will speak more about that um, when I get to the review, which I'm very excited about. But other than that, um, yeah, that's, I have to admit that I haven't done as much as I wanted to in the past few days simply because my mind was completely preoccupied um, with matters that have to do with the new place. Um, the next vlog, I'll probably take you guys around to see the new makerspace where I'm going to be recording, creating stuff. Um, I have big plans for this channel going forward and I cannot, cannot wait to share it with you guys. I cannot wait to get this thing out of the way, move to the new place, set up my makerspace, set up my printing farm, get my CNNC running. Um, I, so many tools that I have in the garage which I haven't used in years. And yeah, I will get there. In the meantime, that is it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Apologies for the lack of uploads. Um, I will try to change that going forward. For the next few weeks, it, it will be like this, it'll be a bit sporadic simply because it's crunch time on the new place. There is a lot of things going on. There is me doing errands, uh, applying for electricity, water. The kitchen came in yesterday, so now there's appliances, there's bathrooms. There's a lot of little things which require a lot of um, my time because it's constantly running around the island to speak to suppliers. But hopefully four, six weeks and we'll be in the new place. As I said, I have big plans. I'm so excited and I'll definitely, definitely uh, give you a little tour of the new place in the next vlog. In the meantime, I'm in Sweden, as I said, this weekend. I'll be in Gothenburg um, Thursday and Friday. I don't know if I'll have time to meet anyone because I'm gonna be with the family. I'm gonna to try to keep the weekend in Helsingborg to meet with people. But if I do, I'll tweet something out. So make sure to check out my Twitter. I'll be recording and probably I'll try to upload something also while I'm there. In the meantime, I hope you guys have a great time. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making, guys.